What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to quickly hide the seam lines between different objects in SketchUp. Before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. In addition, if you support the show on Patreon, you can vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Inneroth Visual Merge. Plugin developer, Christina Inneroth. Plugin cost, $15. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This is a very simple tool, but it can make a huge difference in the way that your models look from a visibility standpoint. Basically what it does is it finds and hides the seam lines between different objects where they intersect, allowing for a very clean looking model very quickly. The way it works is simple. You just select several groups or components, and then you just click the button for visual merge. It will then go in and find the seam lines where those objects intersect, and it will hide them, making your objects look a lot smoother. In addition, you can also unhide the seams using the reset function. This could be very useful when working with architectural models, as often you have to go in and hide these seam lines manually. It's good for hiding that line that shows up at your roofs when you model houses as well. It works on multiple different selections, allowing you to mark large amounts of geometry hidden very quickly. It's a very simple extension, but considering the amount of time that usually gets spent going back in and manually hiding geometry to make it look smooth, it could be well worth the $15. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. How do you usually hide the seam lines in your models? Do you think it's worth the $15 in order to uh, be able to do this quickly? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.